Six glaciers in the Himalayas have nearly vanished since 1980, according to satellite data mapping. And researchers say hundreds of glaciers in the region are melting, all part of the impact of a warming planet. Every year you go to a glacier, we are seeing on an average almost a meter of thickness decrease in the glaciers. So that gives you an idea about the state and the status of the glacier melting in Jammu Kashmir. In the Himalayan region, over 14,000 small and large alpine glaciers have been identified, including those in India and Pakistan-controlled Kashmir. Some of the region's biggest glaciers can be found in areas between northeastern India and Afghanistan. We are seeing glaciers melt very fast, and the way they melt is such that we can't estimate how long they will last. We can't guess how much water will flow into our rivers in the next 5 to 20 years, so if this continues, I can see conflicts and disputes in the future between Pakistan and India over water shortages. Shifts in ice and glacier reserves have already had an impact on agriculture. Farmers in Indian-administered Kashmir are turning paddy fields into apple orchards. There is a problem of water in the land. The crop is not growing properly. Pollution has increased. There was snow on the mountains. It was slowly melting. The annual paddy crop suffered a loss of 50 percent. Local agriculture sustains the bulk of India's and Pakistan's populations, and the two nations have a long history of disagreements over water management. Those disagreements, experts say, will intensify as the glaciers disappear. If the two countries don't stop fighting, not only will the disputes increase as we can already foresee, but also our two nations' water sustainability will also be impacted. I think we've reached a very interesting point here that not only do the two countries need to stop fighting for ethical and human rights reasons, but also because of environmental reasons. And South Asia is particularly vulnerable to climate change. Over the next 30 years, if nothing is done, researchers predict water shortages, drought, and rising sea levels could create some 60 million climate refugees in South Asia. For Zubaydar in Srinagar, Kashmir, Bejan Hamdard, VOA News.